Hey everybody, Randy Kurtz here with the uh, tip or stretch of the month, as it were, with the founder uh, who had all this idea in the first place, uh, Kristen Corp, past president. And we'd like to ask this month about a subject that I've seen in writing um, and in different studies for a long, long time, interestingly, mostly written by males, about that there's a, a difference uh, perceived or real uh, between male and female basis as far as uh, factors of strength and maybe endurance, things like that. I'd like you to address those and uh, uh, tell us if any of this applies to you or in general, if it holds up. Well, I mean, for me, I think a lot of it is really about body size and shape. Okay. It's not, I mean, women tend to be smaller, but that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. um, I find, like, for myself, like, in terms of how to deal with an instrument, we can get just as big a sound, you know, as women. There's not, uh, for me, a difference in, like, oh, you're a woman, so you can't make a big sound. Okay. I mean, I think that stuff is completely false. I don't really hear that mm -hmm. so much, but I've definitely experienced in my earlier days, like, oh, it's a woman, this could go really bad. But I think it's more of a question of quality of, of musicianship rather than um, dealing with, you know, uh, issues of the instrument and being a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, I think it's important, like, for in my bass playing, that my instrument has shoulders that are sloped enough that I can get around it. But they like here at the convention, I still hear guys even saying, oh man, I really love this bass, but the shoulders are a little too wide for the things that I want to play on this instrument. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to be gender related. Okay. But um, I've definitely had my times where I wanted my strings super high because I was going to make a really big sound. And with my smaller hands, it just was so much physical exertion. It was like, why do I want to work so hard to get a sound that, because I'm working so hard, the sound is tight, it's not open, it's not full, mm -hmm. where it will sound more powerful if I lower the action just a little bit um, to that point where I can make the biggest sound with the least amount of effort. I think that makes the most sense of anything. I think that probably the most of the literature that's been out there that dealt with this was when men were primarily the players, and when they wanted to get that big sound, they did have that action uh, up quite a bit. and probably because there wasn't a whole lot of data or a whole lot of uh, female uh, uh, presence to uh, relate to. Um, that's probably where a lot of this came from. So I think that makes perfect sense, and I thank you for uh, sort of pointing that out to us. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. All right. Randy Kurtz and Kristen Korb, see you next time.